Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, as was narrated by Bukhari and Muslim on the authority of Abi Hurairah, every one of my ummah, every person, every Muslim will be saved on the day of judgment except one category. He said, those who publicly proclaim their sins. And then he explains, a person, for example, he says, who commits a sin at night, and then Allah Almighty through His mercy veils him, and He doesn't disgrace him. But then the next day comes, and He says to the people, Oh people, guess what? Last night I did such and such. And Allah Almighty had veiled him, but he wakes up and tears the veil of Allah. See, listening to music is a sin. But telling people on Facebook that I am listening to tracks such and such as you can do, and that takes the sin to another level of criminality in the eyes of Allah. Going to the club, that is a sin in of itself. But telling people on Facebook and posting images of yourself with the bottles and the girls and the lights, that takes the sin to another level in the eyes of Allah. Sister, you may be struggling with your hijab, or you may be struggling to leave the house without adorning yourself with perfume or makeup. But do not post photos of yourself. He is essentially saying, Oh Allah, these are your commands. I have trespassed them and I don't care. And I'm also going to show the world that I have disobeyed you too. If you have fallen prey to any sin, whether it is smoking, shisha, music, <coughs> pornography, women, lack of Islamic dress code, any sin that you and I may be engaging in, which we are inevitably engaging in, veil yourself, my brothers and sisters and cry for your sins and do not disclose it publicly. Have we become so ill that we now see the pure as filthy and the filthy as pure? Veil yourself from your sins and do not disclose it to people and understand that this is filthier and dirtier than responding to the call of nature even if you look very pretty in that image. That shaitan decorating it for you in your eyes, it is filthy because it angers Allah. Cover yourself and don't disclose your sins.